Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love reading. These are for entertainment purposes only guys, so just take what you need from these reads and leave the rest. If you do require a personal reading, something a little more specific and suited to your current situation, then feel free to reach out. All the details on how to connect with me and work with me will be in the show more section just below this video. Leo, equally, if you enjoy this reading, let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing here today. In front of you, you can see six cards already laid out. Um, we will unpack those cards together. But first, I thought we would kick off this reading using a an archetype oracle card just to get an overall feel and vibe of the energies of what's coming through in love and relationships. For the sign of Leo in the upcoming week. Okay, so whatever your situation, the intention is set that you can take something away from my read that can benefit you and help you and guide you. Okay, Ooh, it's very windy here today. Sorry for all the background noise, guys. All right, let's see what the overall energy is for our Leos. Oh, okay, we've got the seed here. The seed. So what I'm getting straight away, Leo, with the seed is this is about starting small, okay? Starting off starting small is what I'm hearing starting small we can see the little seed there this is starting small uh, one step at a time you know the seed planting the seed maybe this is about planting the seed um, I'm feeling young energy with the seed it could still be at the beginning stages of a relationship or a connection okay so this could be a fairly fresh connection um, for some of you, Leos, this is about spreading your seed, okay? So maybe for the upcoming week, this is more about you just going out and keeping it light, keeping it casual, um, and yeah, essentially spreading the seed. More specifically for you male Leos um, that are tuning in. For you female Leos tuning in, maybe the person that you're thinking of here is in this phase of spreading their seed. Um, so I'm seeing fertility here. For some of you, this is about family, um, having or beginning or starting a family, thinking about falling pregnant and beginning a family here. Um the seed can speak to an idea, okay, an intention, a goal. So we'll see how this seed uh, ties in with the rest of the cards, Leo. You've got the Queen of Pentacles here, the Temperance in Reverse, the Two of Cups, the King of Cups in Reverse, the Nine of Cups in Reverse, and the Three of Cups. So you've got a lot of Cups energy here. So there's a lot going on emotionally speaking. Um, the signs of the person that you could be dealing with, with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, with the Temperance card here, I'm feeling Sagittarius. And with the King of Cups here, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, okay? Now, if I haven't mentioned the sign of the person that you're dealing with, it could be that the person um, is embodying these characteristic traits of these archetypes okay so what have we got here leo i feel you know what i feel i feel like with the queen of pentacles you're doing really well for yourself leo i feel like you're you're at this point where you're kind of like just focusing on work, career, 
Maybe you're focusing on your finances in the upcoming week. For others of you, maybe you're just focusing on being productive, okay, around the home, being productive in your work life. This is, this is productivity. And the seed, this could be your seed here, Leo, okay? This is your seed, the, these are your plans moving forward. Your this is productivity. Yes, I'm feeling productivity. So you're you are all about productivity in the upcoming week. You want results. You're after results. Okay. Um, so I feel like your head screwed on straight here, Leo. You know exactly what you want. Okay, you're going into this, into the upcoming week with intention. Okay, you're committed, you're focused, you're loyal. It could be towards this relationship. And if it's not the relationship itself, okay, it could just be like career goals, you know, work goals, financial goals, um, Productive goals. It's a product. It's productivity, like I said. <laughs> okay. Um, now, when it comes to your person, if you're dealing with another person, I feel like they kind of gone off the rails a bit here. Okay. I feel like they've gone off the rails, and the Temperance in Reverse tells me that the person that you're dealing with here is gone off the rails. Okay. They are not feeling very happy right now. For some of you, this could be your committed partner because we've got the queen and the king here. And, you know, we've also got the two of cups here. And it's like this person is just not on the same page as you. It could be that there's little to no communication with this person and you've gone, poof, whatever, I've got to focus on what's in front of me right now. If this person doesn't want anything to do with me, if this person isn't talking to me, then I'm going to get shit happening, okay? I'm going to get things going. It could be, Leo, that your person, like they're coming across... The Three of Cups to me speaks to casual encounters or casual affairs. It could be that this person here, um, you know, only wants something casual here with you. This could be a friends with benefits situation. It could also be that your person is... Like I said earlier, spreading their seed. I mean, there's three people in this card. So maybe you're not the only person that this person is divvying up their time with. But I do see overindulgence here. I do feel like this person is going off the rails. Like I said earlier, it's just like they, they're on a rampage. They're going off the rails. They're being overly indulgent here very self-absorbed and it's cause there he he, he he this king of cups he's upset about something here look it could be leo that you are the one that just wants a friendship with this person okay because i mean the three of cups is touching the queen of pentacles and i feel like that's you So it could be, look, you're going into this week realising I only see this person as a friend or they're my bestie and I can, I have a good time with this person, make no mistake, I really enjoy being in this person's company, but I don't see them being my soulmate. I don't see them being my ever after, okay? And that's probably why your person is upset. It could be that your person is trying to also make you jealous by, you know, mingling with people. Um, I 
uh, like mingling with others or going out and socializing and hanging out with others. They could be going by proxy to get messages across to you, especially if you're if you turn your back on this person, okay? But I feel like you're focusing on it on other things. It's like Leo's turn his or her back on this other person. You're leaving them to it. You're like, I'm I couldn't care for this. I haven't got time for this. I got goals. I'm gonna go get goals, is what Leo is saying. And I feel like your person is extremely jealous. I do feel that. I feel like they're extremely jealous of where you're at, Leo. So let's get some extra energy or messages around your person. Okay, I'll take the top card that flipped out. So they've got the spider spirit coming through. The downward pointing triangle with the line through it does speak to the element of earth. There you go. I mean, this person could be, uh, like I said, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like the spider is very productive. So there's that productive energy that's coming through. Very, very productive. This is a work energy. So I feel like if this is the energy that's coming through for your person, I feel like they're jealous right now because you're doing well. Okay, you're doing well for yourself. And they're in a bit of a hole. They're in a bit of a funk. They could be, you know drinking excessively right now to dull out the pain to numb out the pain to escape okay what's happening here i do feel that this person isn't facing or dealing with you or the situation very well right now okay because they see you, you're doing well, you're doing great. You're grounded here, Leo. I also sense that this person is going through other people to get to you. So I feel like there's a group of people that you have common connections to okay they know people you know people they're mutual friends or family here and I feel like see this web I feel like that's the network that you and this person share together and I feel like they're going through your networks to get the messages across to you to get it back to you maybe planting the seed see there's that's how the seed card is coming through it's like they're planting the seed your friends or your family members or colleagues will, will feed that back to you because they want it to get back to you. But regardless of what comes back to you, Leo, I still feel like you're super focused and you're all about achieving results in the upcoming week and if that means that you stay grounded and you just focus on you know your day-to-day -day things then that's what's going to work best for you right now i feel like you've got some people around you that are really supporting you and cheering you on There is a small little celebration um, around you in the upcoming week, Leo. Okay, again, this person is jealous of that because you're doing well. But I do have to say this person is thinking about you. They're digging themselves their own little grave. It's, it's theirs to, they have to dig themselves out of that. Okay, and you're just going to leave them to it. So... <laughs> 
there we go, Leo. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was of value. And until next time, take care.